On June 2nd of this year, we will celebrate our 25th year of serving Martinsville and Henry County. 25 years ago, we started as a small funeral home. Then in 2008, we became one of the largest funeral homes serving Martinsville and Henry County. This spring, Bassett Funeral Service purchased some new property for our new crematory and also we'll be expanding our services into that building. We pride ourselves in our service. As in the beginning, uh, Bassett Funeral Service started at zero and over the few years we have become one of the leading funeral homes in the area and I think that is because we are providing a tremendous service to our families. Catherine Ann Chamberlain Collins, 91, went to be with the Lord on June the 1st, 2023. Funeral services will be at 11 a.m. Saturday, June the 10th at King's Grant Victory Chapel in Martinsville. Visitation will be held after the service at Frank's Place, located on the campus of King's Grant. Noise Funeral Service in Martinsville is serving that family. Joanne Brooks Rakes, 65 of Bassett, passed away Monday, June the 5th, 2023. A funeral service will be held Friday, June the 9th at 11 a.m. at Bassett Funeral Service Chapel. The family will receive friends one hour prior to that service. Bassett Funeral Service is serving the Rakes family. Roger Lee Travis, 77 of Martinsville, departed this world on June the 3rd, 2023. The family will receive friends from 6 to 8 p.m. Monday, June the 12th at Norris Funeral Services in Martinsville. Funeral will be held at St. Joseph's Catholic Church Tuesday, June the 13th at 10 a.m. Chauncey Neil White, age 85, passed away peacefully Wednesday, May the 31st, 2023. Arrangements to follow at a later date. Norris Funeral Service in Martinsville is serving the family. We've been here for 25 years now and we built a building that was bigger than what we needed when we, when we first started. We've just about filled that place now. One of the things that we really do is we value our employees. We know it takes a long time for them to learn the skills, but people's skills are hard earned. So we make sure that there is a job for them every day of the week, 52 weeks of the year. So even if we're quiet and we don't need people, a lot of businesses still lay people off, send people home. We don't do that. If you want to come to work, we will find you a job because we value the skills that you've learned with us and we want you to stay here and we want you to feel valued. And we want you as a family to go home and say, I'm always going to get a paycheck if I turn up to work for Drake. <laughs>